explain what periodization is and how it relates um, from a nutrition perspective for, for athletes. Um, so periodization is basically the combination of nutrition and exercise often, or it can be solely nutrition, but it's often the combination of nutrition and exercise, how to optimize the adaptation of the athletes. So I suppose historically, you know, you would be periodizing the type of training and then um, how your nutrition matches that type of training to optimize the outcomes and, um, it used to be just of the musculoskeletal system, but it's all, now we know like physiological brain, everything. Like we can periodize certain times, types of training with nutrition and the training that they're doing to help all different um, outcomes. Um, I think that's a basic explanation. What would be some of the differences when you're dealing sort of with endurance, um, endurance sports compared to more power-based uh, sports or power-based athletes? Yeah, so the endurance sports, obviously, just they've got significantly higher carbohydrate requirements. You know, in theory, you know, the protein is, is spread across the day based on your, your muscle mass, kilograms per muscle mass, which can be easily individualised. But your endurance athletes, they need to be fueling before and during um, their sessions and then have, require a lot more to even recover from their sessions. And then you might have um, some look at you also need to be doing gut training with your endurance athletes as well so you might have a phase i've got one athlete at the moment progressing to marathons and we've got nine weeks to do some serious gut training because they need to actually train their guts to absorb carbohydrates at a high enough rate to support their energy output what are some common uh, mistakes i guess when it comes to uh, nutrition and how can athletes sort of avoid those mistakes i guess if we stick with game day preparation and game day performance Oh, game day, just eat. And if you don't know how to eat or you don't think you can eat, then then work with someone to actually, you know, do that gut training and establish a plan and just persevere. There is, I've had so many athletes that say, I can't eat. There's foods that it will work. Like if you can't stomach anything, I promise you, you can stomach a crumpet or start with two dates. You know, there are there are options to get something in your food, your stomach so you can actually perform better on game day. Um, and then my other pet hate is assuming things are going to be provided. I think that's really dangerous as an athlete. Um, mm -hmm. Always have your own emergency snacks and try and keep your pre-game nutrition consistent. So once you figure out what works for you, then stick with it. So then game day, you don't have to think about your food at all. You can just focus on what's ahead. Well, what are your sort of your favourite recovery foods and supplements? I guess there's a lot of athletes probably listening in season at the moment where recovery, especially early in the week, is is really important oh, you have some. really important um look i think a really good quality wpi like a whey protein is, is really handy and i might use that differently with males and females so females i might get them to add it to their food to make sure they're getting hitting their protein and getting that protein distribution whereas a male might have it in isolation but i think that's one thing that most athletes really need and, and can use that to help them recover um the going back to what i mentioned with i think a lot of athletes are misusing or not using at the right time or getting enough of your carbs and electrolytes and getting that timing right around competition and making sure you're getting enough carbs you know at that half time and before and after games and that then adequate carbohydrates for recovery is what helps reduce our muscle soreness similar to caffeine there's responders and non-responders and also uh, how do you sort of cycle it on and off um, with athletes that are in season with um uh so creatine i would i would use it in season at specific times if there was different goals um so definitely for athletes that are having a hypertrophy block or if they're working on speed then that's when i would use it as far as responders mm -hmm. or non-responders there's probably usually two in every team that um it, it does cause a lot of um swelling in or they don't respond but it's actually got a pretty small percentage of athletes that you know, can't tolerate creatine. Um, and then in season, so I might have some specific athletes within a team setting, you know, on a possibly all season long, if they're like a power speed athlete, you know, the type with the fast twitch fibers, you know, those athletes, they might be on it um, all season long. 